Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate this without making use of calculator. We have 500 times 501 times 502 times 503 and plus 1. Now, if you want to go ahead and do this, just know that the answer is simply 251501. So this is the answer and we are going to evaluate this without making use of calculator. Now let's get started. What we are going to do is we can decide to say let x equals 500. This is okay. Or you can also decide to use maybe let x equals 501. Then if your x equals 501, you can as well, your 500 here will be x minus 1. And this is, this will be x plus 1. But in my own case, I've decided to let x to be equals to 500. So that means we are going to have, let's just concentrate on what we have inside the square root first. That means we are going to have x into, this will be x plus 1, this will be x plus 2, and this will be x plus 3, and this will be plus 1. So, if you look at what we have here, these two brackets, we can easily multiply out, we are going to have x into, this will give us x squared, and from here we are going to have plus 3x, and this will be plus 2. Meanwhile, we still have our x plus 3, and we have plus 1. The next thing we are going to do is for us to also multiply this with this, because they kind of look very similar to what we have here. So if we do that, we are going to have x squared, because if x multiply this x, we are going to have x squared. Plus, if x multiply this 3, we are going to have 3x. And here we have this, x squared plus 3x plus 2, and we have plus 1. Now, what we are going to do is we should try and make sure that what we have here is the same as what we have here. So what we are going to do is to split these two here into 1 and 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2. So that means we can decide to write this as we are going to have x squared plus 3x. And in this side, we are going to have x squared plus 3x and here we can decide to have plus 1 plus 1, that is 2, and we have plus 1. So, what we are going to do next is, we are going to use what we have here and multiply with the first three terms here. Then the second time, we are also going to use what we have here and multiply with the 1 that we have here. So if you use this to multiply the first three terms here, you are going to have x squared plus 3x. This will multiply x squared plus 3x plus 1. That is the first time. Now in the second time, we are going to use what we have here to multiply this extra one. And we are going to have plus x squared plus 3x, and remember, there's a plus 1 here, we have plus 1. So that's what we have gotten so far. The next thing is, if you look at what we have here, and what we have here, they are very similar, so we can factor that out. We are going to have x squared plus 3x plus 1. If you divide this by what we have here, we are going to have x squared plus 3x and if you divide this by what we have here we are going to have 1 so we have plus 1 now look at what we have here this and this they are pretty very similar so we can decide to write it as x squared plus 3x plus 1 or power 2 now let's get back to the original problem. Remember there was a square root here. So there was this square root here and we are going to bring that on. So let's get back. 
So if I decide to now include, let me make the line to be a bit straight. If I now to if I now decide to include the square root, we are going to have have you seen that? The square root here will cancel the squares here, so we are going to be left with x squared plus 3x plus 1. And right now, recall that we had x equals 500. Look at it here. So from here, we can decide to insert the 500 into what we have right here. And everything will be easily done. So we are going to have 500 power 2 plus we have there is 3 here into 500 and we have plus 1. So 500 squared, we are going to have 250,000 plus this will give us 1,500 plus 1. And if you add up what we have here, your answer will simply be 251. Then we have 501. So this actually is the correct answer. If you make use of your calculator, you are going to get the same thing. And this actually corresponds to what I told you earlier. So that is it for the video. I believe you have gotten some tricks on how to deal with problems like this. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a comment if you feel like. Thank you and goodbye.